defense was not great. Um, 15 turnovers, 22 points, 14 made threes allowed. So we won the game, which is really important with now seven games to go. Um, but we have to be a lot more consistent with our effort, our energy, our urgency, our discipline. Um, but at the end, you know, obviously, uh, their zone gave us a lot of trouble. We struggled to make shots tonight, I think, 8 of 31 from 3. Uh, but to close 10-2 in a close game, to get timely stops, I thought one of the key defensive plays of the game was Monte Morris. They run a high pick and roll. They throw the lob pass to the roller, and Monte comes like his job. Uh, does his job and, and disrupts that play and then hits, I think, the ensuing three-point shot. Huge turn of events. Uh, I thought Will Barton, his energy, his pace, his attack mindset was really, really at, at a high level tonight. Um, seven assists for Will, none bigger than the last one. Two Nicola for the end one. Um, Aaron Gordon's attack mindset, 20 and nine. So it wasn't pretty, um, but I don't care about that. We got the win before we go out on a two-game road trip. And this is a win that we needed to have. No, uh, well, I hope not. I don't think so, Vinny. I, I think this is something that's been bothering him a little bit. And he had a, uh, a dunk attempt uh, in the first half and uh, kind of re aggravated it there, kind of made it a little bit worse. He tried to play through it. Uh, you know, we all know Jermichael is one of the tougher guys around and uh, just wasn't responding. So I, I don't think this is a long term thing, but I'm sure maybe I'll have to speak to our team docs to see how it responds to tonight's minutes. But hopefully uh, he's back against Charlotte. If not, hopefully soon thereafter. Uh, yeah, no, he's fine. You know, he uh, took a couple of shots to the head. Uh, was bleeding, but I mean, Nicola, 13 of 15 from the field tonight, uh, 12 boards, eight assists. Uh, he had 16 contests. He was a defensive player of the game tonight. But his, uh, his activity was just tremendous. And I thought making our free throws was really important tonight. As a team, we were 23 of 24, uh, which, is, which is crucial in a, in a really close game like tonight was. So uh, now we go on the road, seven games to go. You know, Charlotte's playing at a high level. Uh, then at Indiana, and so every game, every quarter, every possession matters. And uh, and tonight, we did enough to get the win, and uh, that's the most important thing. Did, did Jokic need to like at least make that free throw just to make sure that blood or whatever was bothering him was uh, or was even back there was fine? Yeah, I, I think he was fine. You know, I mean, I think, you know, if you've seen Nicola's two older brothers, I think he's probably been bleeding a lot before, and he's uh, become probably accustomed to playing through that. So. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to knock Nicola off of his game, and a bloody eye is not going to um, you know, take him off a, another MVP performance. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny, you know, like uh, I'll read the postgame notes, and, you know, there are so many things that say, and reigning MVP leads the league in this category. So he leads the league in triple doubles. He leads the league in double doubles. Um, and you, you almost start to just – assume the greatness will be there every night. And, and, and I really try to challenge myself to stay away from that because uh, he should never just, you know, Nicola's greatness and his consistency should never be taken for granted. It should be marveled at every single night because um, that's what separates him from everybody else. There are other really talented players in this league, but for to do it every night like he's done is, is, is something that you rarely see. Yeah, and, and that's a great point because, you know, that was such a big part. You know, when, when Shea was ruled out, Gildas Alexander, we knew that, you know, the way Trey's been playing, you know, he, he was going to require a lot of our defensive focus. Um, and it starts with the guy guarding him, Monte Morris. Uh, they put him in pick and roll, so we needed our bigs to be up at the level. So you got to give Nicole and DeMarcus credit. Um, and then when they get Trey off the ball and they're running catch-and-shoot screens, uh, it, it's a team effort. It's never just one guy. All, all good defensive teams, there's five guys working as one. Monte led the charge tonight. Austin had good possessions. Will had good possessions. And, um, you know, th that was a big part of it. Uh, you know, other guys like Lindy Waters, who for me is first team all name team. Uh, Lindy Waters, the third, you know, that guy can really shoot the ball. And he gets 14 points off the bench. 
Theo Maladon, another guy who's playing really well for them, quick, gets to the basket. He had 20 for them. Um, so, yeah, I mean, man, man was, a, was a big challenge, and our guys responded uh, and answered the challenge. All right, see you guys out there.